The SELECT statement is used to select data from a database table. The list of column names after the SQL SELECT command determines which columns we want to be returned in our result set. Now we want to select only the content of the columns named name surname and birth date from the employees table. We can display columns in a different order. as temporarily assigns a table column a new name. Column aliases allow us to use any name at the presentation level and helps the developer better describe a column in the result set. A common requirement when working with data irrespective of its source is to be able to add additional columns to the result set on the fly. we can add more additional columns. We can use parentheses in the calculated columns to preserve the sequence of actions. We can concatenate surname and name columns using plus operator. The order by keyword is used to sort the result set by a specified column. The order by keyword sort the records in ascending order by default.
we want to sort the records in a descending order we can use the desk keyword. We can order the retrieved data by more than one column. Order by sorts rows using the ordering columns in left to right major to minor order. The rows are sorted first on the first column name in the list. It is important to remember that whenever we are ordering by more than one column we need to specify ASC and or desk after each column if we need specific ordering. We can sort the result set by calculated columns too. We can sort the result set by calculated columns using column alias. For convenience when using expressions in the select list select items can be specified by number, starting with 1. 